we'll sit here in, in, in a few minutes. So it's like, see how this is? Oh, yeah. So now people are joining us. <laughs> All these different people, they're mostly hairstylists. I'm sure. So, hey guys. So I am here with my client, Sandy, who has, she's got real curly hair and I've just kind of flat ironed her. I usually do a dry cut and I was going to show y'all how I do um, a nice pretty stack using my clippers. So I will, let me flip the camera here and show y'all how I do this. Hey Gina. Gina's the one that hosted me at her salon in Texas. Oh, I left my, um, my selfie stick at home so I have to prop my phone up. <laughs> there we go. All right, I think y'all can see that. Can y'all see that okay? There we go. All right, so I flat ironed her hair, and if you have somebody with straight hair, um, this is a great way too. So, let's see, I'm sitting down here. So I just take Very easy. Kind of like shaping, um, if you've ever seen anybody shape a tree or a bush with um, the hedgers. See how pretty that shapes up? This is great on her hair because her hair is so curly. Um, that underneath is really difficult. And if you ever do a bob where you where the hair is already straight, after it's all cut and you blow dry it, you can always come back around with a clipper and just um, shape that cut, kind of, kind of create that roundness. Yeah, it's a great way to create that look. And you can even do that. Like if you have your client, Sandy, turn your head this way. Like left. that? Yeah, look to your right. So if you have your client turn their head to the right, then that allows, that kind of gets you out of the shoulder there. get my my comb. Sorry if I'm not answering questions because I'm not looking at I would have never thought to do it that way. Yeah, it's a great way. I learned how to do this from um, Heidi Grether, who I worked for years ago and she did bobs this way. But it really helps you to shape these bobs and I don't always do it but um, with Sandy's hair this was a great way. So anyway Hopefully you can see how that, I mean, how simple is that? Then I would take my shears and go through. And if you ever have a bob that is, you've got this stack, but then you have this heaviness right here, this is what I do. I'll show you. I come in and you find that corner right there. You can kind of see it. Let me tilt it up a little bit. I usually don't do haircuts on here, but I just felt like mm -hmm. doing one. <laughs> and Sandy didn't mind. So I come in and just chip cut into that. And basically I'm creating a softer layer. So when, um, when it lays down, you've got that nice blended layer. See that? I want that gone. Mm -hmm. And then I come around that corner right there just a little bit. So now when I lay it down, it's got a nice, nice blend. And then I just kind of follow that around the whole head.
like chip cutting into her hair because it keeps it a little softer, more airy. Hey, Connie. One of the girls that came to my class, Tracy Fight, gave me a tripod and I left it at home. So I need to bring it tomorrow in case I have one of these opportunities. Mm -hmm. I would ask the sheer question on Hef because I missed the question. Hey, Chrissy. Anyway, and then bangs. I'm coming around here and I'm just going to take so that will keep her hair blended in through this area and I'll hold that. She asked what kind of shears you have. Um, these are Hanzo's. They are Hanzo's. Um, what is it? 5.5 HH8. So on the side here. And this is, I cut her hair because she's got such natural, she's got a lot of curl in her Don't hair. Don't look like it now though, does it? No, so I flat iron, I always do her hair dry and occasionally we'll come in and do a um, a wet cut. They just, you know, just do a real full cut, but for because her hair is so curly, I flat on her hair and that way I can shape that cut the way I need it to. And if she, she wants to wear it curly, she can. I haven't done this side yet, but um, but you can see how that, that shaped up her cut. So anyway, thank you much. I figured I'd come on and just give you a little bit of some cut advice and little tips that might help you in your cutting, especially with these bobs or that can be, um, challenging sometimes. So just wanted to show you a little trick that helped me out. So anyway, all right. We'll um, talk to y'all later. Y'all have a great day. Bye.